Hi, my name is Trisha Friedman, and I am back with another Shifting Schools look at being strategic and intentional with our AI literacy. Jeff and I have been receiving a lot of questions later from incredible educators like yourself about some things to be mindful of during back to school season as it pertains to AI literacy. And our guidance, again, um, is a little bit longer than just a YouTube tutorial, but one thing that I often suggest to educators is really to think about, well, what are some of the critical key conversations that you want to be having with your students? Um, and again, I the with word there is the critical one for me. So this is a resource that's in the free guide that's linked below in the video description where we have a few frames to think through with a few questions. And then, of course, space for students or peers to add their thoughts on ongoing conversations we are going to need to have. The reality is that while we're learning in an ecosystem where things are always shifting and changing, we're going to have to come back to dialogue. So I'll talk a little bit more about that resource later in the video. Um, but the free guide really centers a few mega prompts that are meant to set either you or your students up to experiment with role playing prompts that invite us to think about generative AI thought partnership um, where we can be experimenting with this technology to better bolster our intellectual humility, to provoke a little more reflection, and to be more mindful of our own opinion. And I want to say that this resource was inspired by this recent study that's also linked in the free guide where researchers were experimenting with ChatGPT to see how effective it could be in helping people check some of their conspiratorial thinking. This is a really interesting study. And again, I just think about how the technology, generative AI technology is still in the early days. Okay, so let's take another look at these prompts. So each of the prompts here is again, meant to set up a scenario. This means that the student or you, if you're experimenting with this first, you're having an exchange, a back and forth role play conversation with your generative AI tool of choice. And again, all of these are meant to, like I said at the start, really be promoting intellectual humility. Now, I want to suggest, again, that you talk with your students about how this might be a precursor, not a replacement to a human to human conversation, but how might this be a good activity to do some rough draft thinking before you enter into uh, that mentoring dialogue or that group conversation? And we need to reiterate to our students all the time uh, th this technology is generative. It is trying to be predictive. You can go into, um, again, thinking about, well, it doesn't know the answer, but what data maybe is it relying on? How well or how poorly do you think it mimics um, human emotions? Again, there's, I think, some really great analysis to be done. But let me show you an example of this. So this is where I was sort of role-playing a scenario where I wanted, this is ChatGPT, to help me, um, again, think through an opinion that I have. And I want to point out that in my prompt, I wrote, you will refrain from agreeing with me. And instead you will provoke reflection and you will make me aware of biases I might not be aware of as they pertain to my opinion. So the conversation begins, ChatGPT asks for me to share the opinion that I had. I wanted to keep this really short and simple. So the example that I've created for you here is, my dad wants to go to a concert with me, but I hate his music. From there, okay, ChatGPT has written, what specifically is it about your dad's music that you dislike, the genre, the artist, the memories, something else? Understanding the root of your dislike can help you clarify your feelings. So um, I'm not going to go specific. I just say pretty much all of it. And as you're seeing, 
Um, I've set chat GPT up that it's going to keep provoking. So it asks a few questions. And the thing that I really love is after I've basically said, hey, I'm just going to tell my dad, no, thanks. It brings me back to thinking a little bit more about um, the impact of me saying that. And I think it's just an interesting exercise to have. So even if you're not necessarily having your students interact with chat GPT, what about sharing a back and forth exchange that you've generated and then talking about either the quality or the lack thereof of that coaching guidance or thought partnership? Because I think, again, that brings us back to really thinking about when it makes sense to be using generative AI as a supplement to our learning, um, to our skills, and to be thinking about, as you see here, one of the questions is, how is the timing of an AI supplement critical? What if I am using, I'm going through that prompt, I'm going through that role play, role play before I have that conversation um, either where I'm asking a human for advice is the value in doing it before or in after. Um, again, I think the opportunities, the benefits of this technology, as well as the shortcomings or challenges, it really helps to be documenting our experiments, sharing them with others, um, and inviting that conversation at shifting schools. When we talk about human centered AI literacy, that's what we're talking about. Uh, we're talking about, again, really inviting multiple perspectives to the table. So if you try out any of those prompts, um, or again, if you invite your students to review any of the examples in the free guide, I'd love to hear from you. You can reach me as always, Trisha at shiftingschools.com. Thanks again so much for watching.